the Mummers in the Little Theater of the Air. <laughs> What time it was, Vera? Come on, I have a nice warm supper ready for you. Well, I'll lock the laboratory door and be right with you. Oh, I wish you wouldn't work so hard, Hale. Oh, you mustn't worry about me. The research scientist has to work hard. I've barely seen you these past few weeks. You've never worked this hard before. And I've never done anything like this before. Here, let me seat you. <sighs> Thank you. What are you doing, Hale? Vera... Have you been in my laboratory? I, well, I only went in the other day to clean up. I didn't notice that you had cleaned up. Looked the same to me. You came back before I had a chance to do any cleaning. But uh, being somewhat of a chemist yourself, you studied my notes, eh? Well, they were there on the desk. I couldn't help but read them. Hmm. Hale, you must stop it. Stop this experiment immediately. What I'm doing is nothing more than other men have done before me. The creation of the elements the body needs to live on and on. Yes, Possibly the chemical and operative procedure for the recreation of a dead person. Recreate a dead person? Well, that's impossible. Why is it? Why is anything impossible if you know the cause and effect and the properties that make it up? Hale, drop it, please. Don't go ahead with this thing. If you succeed, you'll control a thing that was never meant to be controlled. Yes. I shall control death. And the world will bow to you, flock to you at first. And then they'll grow to hate you and despise you for what you've done. They'll seek you out and kill you. Because if death was not to be, someone else would have changed it aeons ago. Hale, you must stop this experiment before you get to Coming. Why, Court Mander. Hello, Nada. I came as soon as I received your message from Mr. Browson. Come in. I'm glad to see you, Court. You know, I've tried for almost a week to get in touch with you. Uh, in here. I've tried equally hard to make contact with you. You're a celebrity now. Oh, you don't do so badly in that laboratory yourself. Won't you sit down? Well, thanks. I can only stay a few minutes. Hale Browson is rather exacting since he's perfected his experiment. Oh, let's not talk about him. I seem to be afraid of his very name. Bringing dead people back to life. Doing miracles. I'm his assistant. You're not afraid of me? Someone I've known all my life, grew up with. Oh, don't be silly. Of course I'm not afraid of you. Well, Nada Arling, the actress. I never believed it'd be like this. You doubted my sincerity or my ability? No, I never doubted either. But that night, six years ago, when you went away, why, well... That's the way I've always pictured you. I've never forgotten that night, Court. Nor I. I wish we could have had this meeting when I first arrived. Then you're leaving? I must, Court. But why? Is it always going to be like this? I said six years ago, if I ever married, it would be you. But I can't turn back now. I have contracts. Doesn't the I... fact that something inside both of us is slipping away mean anything to you? Our youth is slipping away. And that's the only thing I have. Our relative proportions and understandings are what I oh, meant. that's not true. Because I'm Nada Arling and your assistant to Hale Browson, the new creator. Even that can't change. Me. I don't like my position, Nada. That of waiting for me or as a research scientist? Both. But I'm afraid of the latter. I'm surprised. Mr. Browson's discovery has made him the most important person in the world. And you're basking in every glory that's his. That may mean a great deal to you. 
But to me, it's something horrible. I only accepted the position as Browson's assistant for one reason. You accepted him? It was the other way around. No. He told me what to expect. But I was willing to chance it then. Now I know I was wrong. Already it has begun to show itself. We're going to work the other way. The other way? To work against creation? Yes. Hale Browson gave his discovery to the world, thinking its greatness would overshadow any evils it might give rise to. And instead, its evils have overshadowed its greatness and has gone beyond control. Of course. What you contemplate is murder. There's no alternative, Nada. Oh, what of the good you've done? Good? You haven't seen some of those old people we treat continually. We give them life when their souls cry out to die. That's what we're doing. And everyone calls it good. You've changed, Court. I didn't know. I'm sorry, Nada. I shouldn't have come here. You know how I feel about you. I'm entering another world, and you are the only thing that remains between me and... Well, I can stop now. Leave Browson. You and I could go where no one knows us. Oh, that'd be running away, Court. Something that never solved anything. I know what to expect as I am now. I'm realizing an ambition. And I, I can't give it all up in a moment. No. I guess you couldn't. I should have known. Where does your tour take you? My boat leaves for South America at six tomorrow morning. Court. Yes, Nana. I want you to promise me something. All right. That you'll forget Hale Browson and what you plan to do. Will you promise? I... All right. Yes, I promise. I hope you mean that. Oh, I do. I do mean it. Are you going to board your boat tomorrow morning? No, later this evening. They're giving me a reception, and when I leave there, I'm going directly to the boat. I see. Leaving for soon? Yes, sir. Uh, I have to be getting back. Are you going to tell Mr. Browson tonight? Tonight? Why, uh, that's what I'm going to do now. I'll probably see you at the boat later. Well, why such an abrupt departure? I wanted to... Strangely, yet. Good evening, Mr. Browson. Of course. What on earth brings you here at this hour of the night? I wasn't expecting you until morning. I had to talk to you. Hmm. Come on in. Must be rather important to bring you away from Miss Arling. Sit down. Thank you. You seem quite upset about something. I, I am. What's on your mind, Court? Do you mind if we close that door? I certainly not. I'll close it. There. Now, what's troubling you? Hill. Have you told Mr. Browson what we intend doing? No, I haven't. Naturally, I haven't told anyone. Good. Hale, before we start allowing them to die when they should, I'm going to kill Nada Arling and bring her back to life. But why? Why should you want to kill her? You're going to marry the girl. That's what I had hoped. But it's all changed now. And why have you come to me? You know almost as much about the procedures yes, as I. Yes, that's true. But I don't know what chemicals not to use in order that her brain will remember only to a certain point and not beyond. She won't marry you? No. Her career is more important to her than I am. You know, this is murder. But I'll bring her back to life. And in so doing, you intend creating her mind so it will forget its former fame? That's what I came to see you about. Hmm. So far, our creations have been with everything but the mind. That we've been unable to change. When we brought people back to life, their memory patterns remained the same. Now, I know you've been carrying on further research along this line. Court, I have. My first experiment was tonight. What was the result? Just a moment and I'll show you. Come with me to my laboratory. Who was it? Oh, a derelict who had died. No, uh, just a moment before you enter. The experiment wasn't entirely successful. I brought the subject to life easily enough, but his brain... Well, you shall see. What, what was that? Wait until I snap on the light. Well, in a cage. <laughs> Looks all right. Doesn't seem to be anything wrong with him. Don't go too near that cage. 
He may look all right, Court, but I assure you he isn't. Look at his eyes. Yes, they have a wild, starry cast to them. And his gibberish. What does that sound like to you? It's almost like... like an animal. Yes. He wasn't insane before he died. No. He died of a heart attack. Well, then how did he become like this? I reconstructed his brain exactly as it was. But the brain must manufacture something of its own that I don't know about. The only way I have of keeping him in that cage is to charge the bars with enough electricity to kill an ordinary man. It only stuns him. Well, for heaven's sake. What you see behind those bars is not a recreated human being, but a prehistoric man of gigantic strength. I wish we had another place to work. That thing gets on my nerves, jabbering and growling. I can't let Vera know about this. We'll just have to stick it out, Court. Oh, uh, this formula of yours. Yes? We've been over it a thousand times, and still the answer's the same. Oh, shut up. Court, please. Don't do that again. If he should break loose with the outer door locked, we wouldn't have a chance. Well, why don't we kill it? With what? Well, we could use a gun. Wouldn't have to go near it to kill it that way. Vera would hear. And besides... I couldn't do a thing like that. I'm not so sure I couldn't. Well, we'll find a more humane way than that. <laughs> and it's getting late. Time for me to go. I told Nada I'd meet her at the dock. Nada? Nada? Oh, I thought you'd wait on the ship. No, it's... it's best this way. I was rather hurt the way you left me this evening. I'm sorry, Nada. Well, come. Sit in the car a few moments. It's warmer in here. All right. Oh. I'm so glad you came down. So glad I was able to see you again before I left. Nothing could have kept me away. This will be a long trip. Yes. It will be. Of course. Is there something wrong? Hmm? No, no, no. Is there something troubling you? No. I just touched your hands. They're like ice. Well, it's just, uh, just chilly down here, that's all. <laughs> I, I was half afraid of you a moment ago. When I looked in your eyes, they seemed to be staring at me oddly. I want to remember you in case I... Yes? In case I don't see you again. Oh, we'll see each other again, Court. I'm sure of that. So am I. You know, I've waited ever since we got in the car for you to tell me about Mr. Browson. Mr. Browson? Your break with him. You made it, didn't you? Break? Oh, yes. Yes, I told him just what I was going to do. Oh, such a weight lifted from my mind. Now I can leave without being afraid for you. Yes, that's right. That's all past now. When I come back from this tour, it'll be to the young scientist I knew six years ago. Remember that. Remember that. Cord, you look so strange. Remember the past, Nada. Cord, what are you doing? Cord, what... Nada, don't struggle, please. Just breathe deep. This poison is sure. I'll wake you soon. Oh, Nada, wherever you are, hear me. Believe me. You're the only life I have. I'll bring you back. But you must remember only the past. You must remember things as they were before. You must remember only the past. <laughs> Nada Arling slumps over dead. Will court man to succeed in making her remember only the past? What will happen when he brings her back to life? And the medieval monster in Hale Browson's laboratory. What about him, eh? The hermit will tell you before the night is done. <laughs> now the hermit again. <laughs> Court Manda has brought Nada Arling to Hale Browson's laboratory. Mr. Browson is making preparations for the final operation on Nader Arling's brain. Listen. <laughs> Have those clamps 
ready. Court, place your fingers here while I put these clamps. Now, not too much. Tear apart. I'm holding it. Will those creases smooth out when I let go? Yes, when I inject these chemicals. There. Clamps are in place. Now for the injections of this fluid. I'm ready for that now. Gently, gently. Now release your fingers slowly. Slowly. Careful. Careful. Oh, this growling frightened me. Uh, these clamps slipped when you moved. I have to put them back on again. You cause anything more like that to happen, I'll take the shotgun and blow your head off. Hold your hand steady. If we expose the tissues too long, it will die again. We'll have everything to do all over again. Here, I have it down again. Now, forget him. Now, just a second. We'll be ready for the solution. Now. That does it. Release the pressure slowly. Slowly. Right. See? The creases aren't coming back. Hurry. Hand me that piece of her skull that we cut away. Here it is, in this case. Ah. You bored all the holes in it so we could fasten it down in place? Yes, they're ready. Now, help me again. We must replace it exactly as it was cut away. I marked it. Good. Ah, uh, yes. I see the marks. Now, turn it just slightly. There. Hold it in place while I fasten it. That monster grabbed his cage and the electric shock made him scream. The light! Caught the dimming! Caught, he's holding onto the cage and shouting the current! I can't see the work. I stopped this surgery. Our work is useless. Do something quickly. Oh, the lights have gone out now. It must have caused the fuse to blow. We haven't any time to waste. Do something, man. That, that thing. Is he free? No, he's still in his cage. He's uh, on the floor. Electricity must have stunned him. Look over there. There's a candle. Light it quickly. Yes, I see it. Quick, bring uh, it here. We must finish this operation. My fingers are growing numb holding this tissue in place. If we can finish before that thing in the cage comes to. Can you see by this candle? Oh, I must. Hurry. I think I hear him stirring in his cage. Can you see if he is? No, there isn't enough light to see that far. Was the cage intact? I didn't have time to look. There. I have one clamp in place on the skull. I'll have another in a moment. What was that? I didn't hear anything. There. Hold the candle closer. Nada's coming too. I can see you're breathing. I must hurry. We still have to bandage her head. Oh, I can't seem to get this other clamp through the hole in the skull. Her breath is coming faster and louder now. I can hear it. Watch where you're holding the candle. I can hear her breathe, Hale. Once I get this fastened, the rest will be easy. Oh, she's breathing so loudly, I... Hale, behind you! What? The man! He's out of his cage. He's coming toward us. He'll kill us. Wait. We're your friends. Wait. We're going to help you. See? Come. Come. Follow me. Hail. Nada. She's going to be all right for a moment. We must get him back to the cage. Now, that's it. Come along. Court. He's watching you and Nada. He's motioning for you to get away from Nada. Watch out, Hale. He's reaching for you. Oh, he's crushing my arm. Court. Quick, there's a hypodermic needle on the table. Get it. Yes, I have it. He's watching me now. Look. Look what I have here. This will make you feel better. Come just a little closer. Get him with that needle. His fingers are crushing my arm. Oh, now just a little closer. I won't hurt you. Let go of me. Let go. Claude, get him with the hypo quickly. Quiet. He looks like he's listening to something. He's loosening his hold on me. In a moment, I might be able to pull free. What's he staring at? Uh, God. Look. Later is getting up from the operating table. No. No, she can't. The operation isn't finished. Use the hypodermic for her, Cough. Hurry before she stands up. See? She's sitting up now. Later, lie down, lie down. Oh, get back, you. He doesn't want you to go near her. Man. Nada. Speaking. Man from the past. We are going back, you and I. 
And we will take Court Mander and Hale Browson with us. Court! Man from the past. Bring Mr. Browson here. Court! Do something! Help me! Court Mander, try to move. I, I can't. I, I can't move. No. You want to. But I now control your will. They can let me go. She's killing me. Poor Crosser, I didn't bring her here. Have her make this inhuman monster. Let me go. Hail, Browson. You must die. No, no, you can't do this to me. It's murder. You have murdered many. But it was different. It was the only way. Man from the past, you must hurry. I'm not much longer for this earth. Fingers! They're crushing my head! My head! My head! Man from the past, you would be dead. You're not for this world. They brought you back against your will. <laughs> Court Mander, you spoke of shooting this man. Where is the gun? In the gun rack. On the wall there. Get it. <laughs> Bring it here. Point the gun at that poor, mixed-up soul of yesterday with the body of today. No. No. Now, so that he may have peace and rest, pull the trigger. No. Pull the trigger, no. I say. I haven't much more time. Court Mander... You and Hale Browson have been violating the eternal law. Man is born to die, and die he must. Your soul will never rest in this world, but it will never come back. There is one more shot in the gun court. Yes, Nada. Hand the gun to me. Yes, Nada. I, I must lie down. On the table here. Stand in front of me. Yes. I am here. This is the end of the world you created. Now we may all rest in our grave. Hale, Court, what has happened? Hale, Court, open the door, please. Hale, what is it? What is it, Hale? Places and occurrences mentioned in the Hermit's Cave are fictitious, and similarity to persons, places, or occurrences is purely accidental. <laughs>